So in a recent video, I mentioned that I didn't have my GameCube hooked up. Also a few other consoles, including the Dreamcast, and I'm honestly a little surprised by the number of people who also shared that they too didn't have one or even both of those consoles connected. Both of those systems are pretty good and I do honestly like them and their libraries. I just have had other things to occupy my time and attention. And as a lot of you noted last time, it's easy to get distracted by options. Of all the games on GameCube that I played, I think I probably enjoyed Mario Sunshine the most, but a very close second would be Metroid Prime. As a confession, I really didn't play much of the original on Nintendo at all, and in 2002, I had never played Super Metroid. But the hype around Metroid Prime and the early reviews were too good for me to pass on. I played it and I loved it. It was probably the first big post-college game that I got into. So a recent rumor buzzing about the Metroid Prime trilogy coming to Switch had my interest peaked. It turned out not to be true, sadly, at least for now, but this just gave me the extra push that I needed. No, not to hook the GameCube up and play Metroid Prime. That's way too easy. No, I finally threw caution to the wind and hacked my Wii U so that I could play GameCube games on it. So this solves the issue of not having the GameCube hooked up and it gives me the added convenience of being able to play additional games on one system. Now, I'm not going to go through the how-to of this. For one, because I'm already done with it, and two, because there is a fantastic step-by-step -step guide already out there and a number of other videos on the same topic. I'll link the guide I used in the description below, and I should also thank the guys on Twitter who confirmed that they used this same guide and that it was accurate and still up to date. There are a number of other things you can do with a hacked Wii U, but for today's purposes, I'm really only focused on running GameCube games. Now, by design, you can't just toss in a GameCube disc into the Wii U to play, so you're going to have to hunt down the image files of the games that you want, download them, and then run them through a process to get them in a format that allows them to be installed onto the Wii U's homepage. Now, I'll stop there because we are into a gray area. It's frustrating because this is for certain not something that Nintendo wants you doing. They want you to go buy these games from the eShop, and in my heart, I know that that's the quote, right way to do this, but damn it, I have the original disc for GameCube sitting right here. This is my original copy that I splurged full price for back in the day. I bought it, I own it, I own a GameCube, and I own this Wii U. What more do you want from me? Well, that I suppose, another $20 for the trilogy. Well, here's the other thing that I know isn't a popular opinion. I don't want the Wii Trilogy because I don't want to play with a Wii Remote and Nunchuck. I'm sorry, I just don't. And I know people say it's ideal and you get used to it, but I'm sorry, I'll be a crotchety old man on this one. I don't want that. Motion controls are a large part of why I skipped the Wii console entirely. I just want a normal console with a normal controller to play my games on. That's it, I'm a simple man. So the whole gray area aside, this is what I want. My original Metroid Prime GameCube game loaded and ready to play on the Wii U. That's it, like I said, I'm a simple man sometimes. This hack now allows me to load and play all of the GameCube games in my library that I bought and used to play that were just sitting on a shelf. I can now do that without having to hook up the GameCube, without buying an HDMI cable for the GameCube, and I don't have to install an optical disc emulator. And best of all, I can still use a Nintendo GameCube controller to play this since the adapters were released for Smash Brothers. Finally, Smash Brothers actually does something for me. Ooh, you didn't see that one coming, did you? So overall, I'm pretty happy with this as my new GameCube option. The games look about as good as you could expect them to and play flawlessly since these titles aren't being software emulated like you might expect. The Wii U's hardware is essentially backwards compatible with both the Wii and GameCube. Using the add-on Nintendo through the hack allows the Wii U to simply tap into what Nintendo arguably should have allowed in the first place. Okay, so I've wanted to show this off at some point because I don't often see this stuff. It doesn't warrant its own video really, but since we are talking Metroid Prime here, I wanted to seize the opportunity 
to show three things I got when Metroid Prime first came out. I was scouring eBay at the time and really, eBay was great 20 years ago because you could find cool stuff and not pay a fortune for it. Well, these three things I picked up from someone who I believe was a Babbage's employee and I'll show them off in order of importance to me. First up is a cool Metroid lanyard, complete with tag promoting the launch of the two games at the time. The lanyard has seen some use because I used to wear it at one of my early jobs. Second is a Metroid Prime shirt. Now I've resisted the urge to impress all of my friends and wear this in recent years, but there actually was a time when I would sport this out in public in the early 2000s. It's an interesting material, it isn't cotton, it feels like a dry fit shirt, so maybe like a polyester nylon blend. Finally, the best for last, Metroid Prime sunglasses, bitches. I love these things. I may have worn them a few times, but not often because I knew early on that I didn't want to risk breaking or scratching them or losing them. They seem semi-modeled as a nod to Samus's visor without overdoing it too much, which I like. These glasses probably rank up there as my favorite video game related junk that I have picked up over the past few years. And that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to share that I have a new GameCube option for playing some of my favorites of the past. I don't know that I'll make it all the way through Metroid Prime again here anytime soon, but I'll probably at least start it and see how long it holds my interest a second time through. I also, of course, wanted to show off my Metroid Prime swag, show you how cool and not dated at all it still looks. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.